Hey there, this is Shaheen from ShaheenMuroInsights.com and I am doing the weekly intuitive forecast for the upcoming week of August 7th. So we're going to look at what's coming up this week, what the flow of energy looks like, where things might feel a bit blocked or could become blocked, and where things feel really fluid. And we're going to look at ways that we can tap into this beautiful flow of energy to help us create all the things that we're wanting to make happen this week and we can set our intentions and become clear and we can really make magic happen. I really love to give people the kind of insight and clarity to look at this is what's working and this is what isn't. So how do you navigate away from things that are feeling blocked or resistant? and start moving into that other place where things are flowing. So that's what we're gonna do with these three cards that I've pulled for this upcoming week. But that's also what I do when I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. We look at the energetic story, the overarching story that's happening, the themes that are making it up, and where the points of power are. So let's look at these three cards and see what the week ahead looks like. So the first card we have is the Four of Coins. And there's um, a man who's sitting here and he is seated on a throne outside of a city and you can see he has a coin on his head, one in his hands and he has two under his feet. So it's almost as if he is holding on to these coins for dear life. He's a bit miserly or he's afraid to let go or he's being a bit anxious and what what this card is often called is the little king. He's lost everything. All he has left are these coins. So this is a great card to come up and remind us, don't hold on to things for fear that there's not enough or that something else won't come along. Lack mentality in the beginning of this week is going to lead to more uh, feelings and situations of being stifled or blocked or feeling resistant or fearful. So learn to move fluidly, learn to let go of things easily. Don't hold on too much to things as they come to an end or when something starts to shift out of your life. Allow yourself to be really fluid and keep reminding yourself that there's lots of abundance around you. One of the affirmations that I love to use, and I just repeat this to myself throughout the day, especially when I'm feeling stifled or I'm feeling like that lack mentality is coming over me. And that affirmation is, today is the day of my unlimited good fortune, or today is the day of unlimited good possibilities. So repeat that to yourself. Let that intention wash over you, and it'll help you combat this feeling. It'll help you move through this feeling. The second card that we have is another four, and it's the Four of Swords. And you can see the four swords or the three swords hanging over this uh, coffin casket and one underneath. So this is a great card to um, remind us that rest is important, that it's important to take time to uh, relax, to meditate, to contemplate things, to really ease into situations. So there's sort of a theme happening here of the fours, which are um, all about this feeling of stability. I always think of fours as the four corners of, of a building. So there's this sort of box or this container that something's being held in. And so what I'm looking at here is this need to be fluid with resources, be fluid with energy and intention, but also give yourself time to meditate, to feel through, to contemplate, to really ease into things. There's no reason to rush, force, or jump into anything. And so then the next card, the last card in the three, is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is talking about inner visions, trusting in your intuition, and allowing yourself to really be grounded in this knowing that you have the answers, you have the resource, you have the vision. Trust your intuition. Trust your lunar self. So... This gentleman is holding on to things that he shouldn't be afraid to let go of. And there's a time to rest and then trusting those visions. 
So this is really going to be a more introspective week from what it feels like to me. I also have been feeling very strongly within my within my own life and also in conversations I've been having that the energy feels really strange right now, kind of on a bigger level. So I think there's a lot happening cosmically. And so there's this feeling of things being a bit stifled or chaotic, but also I see that there's all of this magic that's happening, things just kind of coming out of nowhere. So stay open to the possibilities, let yourself really feel through this week and know that you have the resources, you have the energy, use that affirmation, it's really gonna help you and just trust what you're feeling in here. Something else I wanna share with you before I go is the amazing workshop that Teresa Reed, the Tarot Lady, and I are doing. Um, we are teaching a workshop online called Tarot for Troubled Times. So if you've been feeling like the world is kind of chaotic around you, you're feeling disillusioned, you're feeling um, vulnerable, you're feeling helpless, this workshop is really gonna support you. We're gonna teach you how to use tarot to show up for yourself first and then also show up in the world as an ally, a supporter, an advocate, and really a force for a big change, positive change and magic for yourself and other people. Uh, it goes back to really this quote that I love um, by Gandhi of be the change that you wish to see in the world. So what we're gonna learn to do is cultivate our light through our shadow. And we're gonna learn how to use the tarot as this sort of guiding light, guiding constellation to help you empower yourself, to help you activate your skills so that you can go out into the world and really feel empowered and on purpose. It's gonna be amazing. We did a Q&A for the, the early students who signed up. Such an amazing group of people already. So if you are interested in tarot, if you're interested in uh, self-empowerment, if you're interested in um, showing up in the world, if you're interested in creating a change and social justice, and really just all of this consciousness that it's expanding and shifting with the political climate and uh, the changes that we're seeing in society, then this workshop is gonna be for you. So you can check it out. I will share the link below and you can check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through the contact form or reach out Teresa Reed to Teresa Reed. Uh, we both are so excited to share this and we're so excited to talk to you about it. So I look forward to having you there if you're interested. And then as always, because I love working with you and helping you find the blocks and move, move through, work through the hurdles in your life, whether that's love, money, career, purpose, well-being, all of the different areas, helping you work through that to create magic in your life. Um, so if you would like to set up a private intuitive guidance session or energy clearing session with me, check that out. You can learn more about that on my website, shaheenmiroinsights.com. And if you're already here on the website watching this, you can look above at uh, spiritual services. So I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I would love to help you make change. And I would love to partner with you in this beautiful story that you're telling. So if you have any questions about that, contact me through the contact form. And until next time, have an amazing week and good luck with everything. Sending lots of big magic your way. Bye now.